Now the synth here, I can play it back without the mixer, and you won't hear a single thing. I put it on, and now we're going to hear what's going on with this part. So we've got the synth here going on. What of the sound itself? Group. We've got the long verb and the zap. I think it's in the zap axis. I'm not using that right now. See what's happening there. Nothing's going to any group here. Go back to group. But we are sending it to that channel. So the sound itself is going to the long verb and the zap is not being used yet with any external effect. But the group is being sent to that three handle, which right here in the mix, look the mixer group, we'll see it here. And it's providing some more EQ for us. So that EQ is happening again. And then it's compressing the signal after the EQ. So when you hear it back, it's how the processing works. So now I go back here to synth. And we'll play it from, let's say, right about here. See, it's just right here, it's got more effects to it, so let's play it from here again. So we're swinging back and forth between each one of these patterns. So it provides this reverb that goes along with that other reverb we have going on in the add-on drums. So they're all in this reverb, including that clap, where everything else is pretty much up front. 